Howdy folks and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Well, let's just paint us a crawl today. We got a new crawl pattern out uh, and I've had some guys wanting to know how I did it so uh, let's just jump in here and do it. <clears throat> So I'm gonna do four of them. If I'm gonna do one. I might as well do four because people are just tearing them up off the shelves already. Uh, Melissa's trying to get pictures of them all and get them up on the website. So uh, just give her a little time. She'll have that done. Wow, these stupid things are irritating me today already. So uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mix up the paint for the belly and the way that I did that was a uh, hot saffron which is a folk art paint just a few drops as soon as I get it down there and I used uh, daffodil yellow As soon as I get it down there, I'm about out. I'm going to have to make a run to the Hobby Lobby. A little bit of daffodil yellow in there. A little bit of thinner. And I kind of made my own and then I added, after what color that I wanted, more of just to make it better. Put a little bit more yellow in it. Because I don't really want it orange and I don't really want it yellow. So I'm just kind of trying to find my own color in between those on it. Make a few more drops of yellow in it. There, we're getting to the color I want now. That's about the color I'm after for that belly on that thing right there. So, let's uh, clean our finger off first, folks, and uh, then we'll uh, force a little bit up and get our belly put on it. Well, I might as well just do something to put up on the website while I'm doing it, so... Well, I believe we're going to just leave her at that, and then we'll let her dry up, and we'll clean our brush. And I know I mixed way too much paint, but... I haven't quite perfected that just exactly yet the way I want it, so <clears throat> but I will. Just give me a little time. So let's clean this brush out while they're drying. And then we'll heat set them and we'll move on to our uh, Georgia clay, which is a deco art cover. So how's all everybody's heart beating here on this Saturday afternoon? We're doing real good. Uh, we got ugly weather supposed to be moving in. Uh, don't forget oh lord my allergies is going nuts have been for about a week now the trees are starting to bud out if you're new to my channel I just want to welcome you uh, I hope you uh, enjoy it as much as we enjoy doing it so uh, we're going to go to our Deco Art Georgia Clay. 
is our next color that we're going to put on these. And uh, that right there is Georgia clay. That is a really, really good color for crawls. I think. I really like it. I think it looks unique and different and pretty cool. Just a hair, hair thick. That's a, a couple more drops of thinner in there. Georgia clay. Start laying it on. Now the lures we're painting today are 1.5 square bills. Well eventually me and Melissa will start building our own uh, stencils. We've been working on that a little bit. Looking good. Pour that up, clean our brush. Well, we may throw another coat on them here in a minute. Let's clean our brush out. There's a million things that you could do with with a 1.5 square bills and stencils and just make your own lures, you know. Uh, funky, eclectic, you know. All of it works really good. And sometimes you just need to throw something at them they haven't never seen before. Or they hadn't seen in years. So that's one of the reasons that I bought the hula poppers was just for that to throw something different at them you know uh, that's kind of the way that my mind works and I know my mind's probably not always in the right spot but my heart is so. yeah I think that those are probably dried up enough I got the big fan running over there beside me running across them We'll just blow us another little coat on them right quick. So while them are getting good and dry, <clears throat> I'll clean this brush and we'll get ready to do the start to putting stencils on them. So right now the old ugly dog running solo. She had to run down and run an errand, so she started all the cameras and just left me in here by myself. I hope they don't go off because I ain't turning them back on. I don't know if I'd know how to operate all that stuff. Is everybody else is ready for springtime as I am. The only thing that I don't like about springtime in the area that we live is we get lots of large hail, tornadoes, damaging winds. Uh, a lot so I, I really don't like that part of where we live but you want to know the truth I would like to be living somewhere around surrounded by lakes but at this point in our life I got a few more years to retirement and then we out of here <clears throat> don't know where we're going yet where we're gonna move to but it's gonna happen me and the wife and I don't know, the boy may tag along with us, I don't know. We'll just have to see. 
All right, folks, we're back finishing up our crawl pattern with our Georgia clay, our uh, hot saffron, our yellow, and our black. We're back in black. That's where we're at now. So uh, we've got our stencil on there. I've already finished the other three up. So uh, let's finish this last one up, and I'll show you what we got when we get done. We're going to be using my brand new brush my wife bought me. It's a little detail brush. So she's so sweet sometimes. 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 I want to stop bringing you surprises. What do you want them to do that for? Good. So we're mixing our black up and we're using an Anita's uh, glossy black is what we're using. Let's do the old finger test on it. There she goes. Wipe her off. There's just about six or seven drops in here. About all we need. Then we'll reach over here and get our stencil pushed down. your weather goosey it was so nice while ago while I was gone yep there's our first side done folks so we're gonna wipe our stencil off here and let that dry for a second won't take very long with 70 mile an hour winds outside I'm sitting out here in the shop with the door open watching the weather we are in tornado large hail you know you were telling them to pray for rain, but I think they went a little overboard. I think overboard. they went a little overboard. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got no rain yet, just ugly wind and weather right now. Overwhelming support that y'all have given us so far. Uh, it's really an honor to do this with y'all. I'm enjoying it. You know, everybody's got their own funky, eclectic way to do things. And I'm probably the world's worst. At funny and eclectic? Yes. Or honorary and a pain of rear end. Well, did you folks hear that? Y'all think I deserve that? Give her a thumbs up. <laughs> now they're all thumbs down it because they all think that you're mistreated. Oh, well, believe me, folks, I ain't mistreated. Well, it's been a really 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 fun riding I hope I get to keep on riding in this little adventure because we're having a ball won't be too long we'll be sitting at a state park out there painting at a state park we're going to start with one that's really close to our house <laughs> guess everything falls apart we're close to home yeah so we can Kind of figured out. It's got a nice little bitty tiny lake on it, and uh, you can catch trout and perch and catfish out of that lake. So because it's stocked, it is stocked by the state. And then the next adventure, we're going to a big lake. Don't know if we'll have anybody joining us, but it'll be me and the beautiful wife going up there for sure. Well, well, well. I think uh, we'll just chunk some red eyes on this one. What do you think there, pretty lady? I think the yellow and red... I don't have any more of that size. I need to order uh, some. I do have that, these. That, that would be good. I already got one. How about the gold? The new gold. No, okay. I do have this eye. That would be different. Okay. That we could put on there pretty easily. And we're just going to take the bill right quick. I am so ready for spring to get sprung, folks. It means I can plant some maters, some cucumbers, some zucchini, some potatoes. We're probably going to be doing potatoes here in a couple of weeks. 
Maybe next weekend. Ain't nothing quite like homegrown tomatoes. In my opinion. I think I'm going to use uh, the amber. Honey, look at the amber. amber Is it that one or that one? I think the amber. That's kind of what I think too. Let me get my yeah, here where I can see <laughs> what I'm doing. I gotta go get new glasses here, folks. Getting where I can't see out of these very well. So my wife, she likes to go to junk stores. I do, yes. And she found this brand new airbrush for 20 bucks. 25. 25. <laughs> and she bought it. And, I figured uh, if nothing else, all the stuff in there was worth It's a detail brush. 25 0.2, 0.5. So, uh, has all kinds of stuff with it. Cleaning kits, moisture traps, the whole nine yards. So, I just hooked it up and we've been using it just for detail work. <laughs> like this, like putting the straps on this crawl pattern here. So, working pretty good for that. Okay, time for some epoxy. No one and one on this one. Okay, let's throw some epoxy up on it. Hang her on the rack over there to dry. What the other ones? So remember folks to like, subscribe, and share to my channel and hit that notification bell and that thumbs up. Come on, I dare you to. <laughs> I double dog dare you. And be sure to leave comments folks. Uh, Y'all have a very blessed evening and I'll catch you later.